Hey guys, so what you are seeing is a picture of the foils from the Secret Lair Woman's Edition. And this is really hideous as you can see that the foils are really curved. And quite honestly, this is very poor quality for any magic card. But especially for a premium Secret Lair, very expensive. These cards are not cheap. Now the person who posted said that he put them in a book, he put some oil on them, he did everything he could to try to un to flatten these cards. As you can see, even if you sleeve them up, they would be unplayable. So this is unacceptable for any magic card, but when it is a direct to consumer product, especially for Women's Day, is this disrespectful to women? I don't know. If you are considering paying Wizards Magic for one of their MTG Secret Lair drops, these are the cards I got from the last two. So curled, they stand on their own. Neither book flattening nor silica gel has helped. This was a defective product. So imagine waiting months and months to receive your secret lair. You finally get it, you are really excited, you open it and the cards can literally stand up. This is disrespectful of women, this is disrespectful of other magic players, many of them males, and I don't know, like they spend so much time on hashtag Black Lives Matters and social media and political, making political statements that they don't spend any time actually making a product that is a good product. We have more bannings. We had the companions, the entire companion mechanic had to change. That's pretty new. But even beyond there, Fires of Invocation from Thrones of the Elder and, and Core 2020, which has another edge, Field of Dreams, Summer Autumn Veil, vale, or Summer Veil, vale, and the agent of treachery. I mean, how many cards can you ban from a set that is going to rotate in a week? Why would you even ban it? It doesn't make any sense. So, in my opinion, quality control has got you know research and development, play and design, card control. There's got to be someone whose sole job is to see if the card quality is good or not before sending it out to the customers. I don't get it, doesn't make sense. But when you spend so much time on social movement and social justice and all you do is produce magic cards, you're not LeBron James, you're not even Michael Jordan, you're just, you produce Magic the Gathering cards. Why are you involved in a huge social movement right now? And you might be like, oh, everyone should be involved. And I agree. But it's really hard when a business takes a stand, like a Nike, right? Says, hey, you know what? This We're going to support Colin Kaepernick. That's a business decision that makes sense because they, they could sell more Nike merchandise. I don't get it. Um, I, I don't get it. Bye, guys.